insurance due, second mortgage, family to support. College for Susie. Oh, she'll probably want a big wedding, too. Cost a fortune. Suppose she marries some bum and I've got to bring up the grandchildren. <laughs> We're going on a budget. <laughs> yeah? Package for Miss Baxter. Uh, hold it. Miss Baxter, did you order a package from Miller's? Oh, it's my tablecloth. I don't remember nothing in the budget about tablecloths. Oh, I ordered it last week. Paid for? I charged it. Oh, well, no charge accounts. That's the first thing we agreed on. Do you want to pay for it out of your allowance or take it back? I'm sorry. I'll get you something for your trouble. Just a minute. <laughs> there you are. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> this loan to Steve Baxter. We're not asking for additional collateral. We have a recent financial statement from him, don't we? Oh, yes, sir. When we finance that property, he's buying on Cumberland Avenue. Put it through as quickly as possible. Just a routine check. Yes, sir. Busy? Oh, I wish I were. Come on in, Cliff. Sit down. What's on your mind? Good news. Yeah? Got a big shipment of cars in this morning, and there's a yellow one with black upholstery. Just what you want. Full power? Everything. It's a oh. beauty. Now, just give me a day to have it serviced, and you can have it. Uh, <clears throat> well, Cliff, you see, the thing is now, I, uh, well, I think I'll have to wait a while. Look, your old car will make the down payment. What are you worried about? Well, oh, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I just think I'd, uh, I think I'd rather wait a little while longer. Well, before I... Uh, anything you say. Maybe in a couple months I'll be able to swing it. Sure, Steve. Look, keep your chin up. This town is booming. You'll get your share of the business. <laughs> Cliff, I get my share. I, I get more than my share. What are you kidding? Now, just remember, a salesman's got to have the old grin on his face no matter what happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, come on, buddy, smile. Everything's going to be all right. Believe me, everything is going to be all right. <laughs> Is Mrs. Baxter at home? Yeah, come right in. Oh, Mrs. Sella, nice to see you. Please come in. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Just call me Hazel. Oh, for Pete's sake, that's my name. I'm Hazel Burke. <laughs> really? Yeah, but the same's running cycles. We must be about the same age. I was just about to have some coffee. Wouldn't you like to join me? Well, I have only a moment. I'm oh, on my go way. Go on, sit down. I'll get you a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm on my way to a meeting of the open hand. You remember? My little charity. I talked to you about it when we met last week. Oh, yes. Everyone knows the fine work you do. Oh, thank you. Well, when I found myself on your street, I said, I simply must stop by and tell that sweet little Mrs. Baxter that I intend to put her name up for membership in our little club. Oh, thank you. I'd love to join. <laughs> I knew you would. And now I have the most tremendous favor to ask. Well, what is it, Mrs. Purcell? We need good workers so badly. So if you'll accept, I'm going to nominate you to serve on one of our committees for the luncheon that we're having at the Forum Club next month. Well, as long as it doesn't have anything to do with fundraising, I'm afraid I'm not very good at that. Well, um, how about entertainment? Well, I'll try. <laughs> Splendid. Now, all of our members take at least one book of tickets. They're $2.50 each, 20 tickets to a book. 
20? Uh, 10 couples. Oh, we all know at least nine other couples we can take, don't we? Oh, of course, if you'd like to have a larger party. Oh, oh no, 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 one, one book will be just fine. Uh, well, then, uh, if you'll just give me your check. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Make it out to the open hand for fifty dollars. And I'll run along to my little meeting. All right. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> but don't you worry, my dear. No one that I've sponsored for membership has ever been blackballed. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming by, Mrs. Purcell. We're going to have such fun working together, aren't we? I hope so. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, she gone already? It's my whole month's allowance. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Here he is, Hazel. Oh, he's gonna laugh at me for the rest of our lives. Oh, don't say anything about it till the end of the month. I'll think of some way to get out of it. Hi, darling. Hi. You're tired. A hard day? Yeah. Oh, well, you're young and you got your health. Won't hurt you none to be busy. Mm, I didn't say I was busy. It's not being busy that's rough. How much money did you spend today? Me? <laughs> she hasn't been out of the house. How could she spend any money? How about you? Not so good. I got stuck with the check at lunch. Twelve dollars. You know what I had for lunch? Hamburger and a cup of coffee. Oh, that's a shame. Well, maybe we've gone a little overboard. Maybe... Uh, don't you worry about me. Either one of you. If I have to, I'll... I'll take a sandwich from home and eat it at, at my desk. I'll show you what side of the family I take after. <laughs> Might go 160. You're not being realistic, Mr. Denny. Now, that building is only eight years old, and land on that block is selling for $12 a foot. At 160,000, I'm interested. Well, there's no use in my even presenting your offer. They won't take 160. Now, I might be able to get them to come down another three or four. Forget it. Beautiful car. Yellow, black upholstery. I can let you have it for a good price, too. The fellow that wanted it decided that he couldn't afford a new car again this year. I... Wasn't that... No, no, it couldn't have been. It was, though. As a matter of fact, I ordered that car I was telling you about for Steve. Is that so? Excuse me, Cliff, I gotta get back to the bank. <laughs> Hazel, I have a date to play bridge Friday, and well, the girls are talking about taking in a matinee next week. Well, I, I can't play sick for a whole week and go to bed. What am I gonna do? Well, why don't you sell some of them tickets that's for a worthy cause? Well, I'm terrible at things like that. Well... Anything is better than having Steve laugh at me. Hello, Anne. Barbara. Uh, I have a tremendous favor to ask you. Uh, well, I got stuck with a whole bunch of uh, tickets from the Open Hand Luncheon. It, it's going to be the 12th of next month, and you wouldn't want to buy any, would you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You would? Oh, well, that's, that's tremendous. Uh, oh, you're an angel with a capital A. Uh, if there's anything I can ever do for you, you just name it. Oh. Dinner in the gold room with marvelous entertainment. And it's only $10 a couple. You will take two tickets, won't you? <laughs> oh, oh, sure, I, I'd be glad to. Bye. She's a member of the Friends of Music. How much? 
ten dollars a couple, and it's a dinner. Oh, for pizza. Give me them tickets. I'll get rid of them for you. Tomorrow's my day off, and I ain't got nothing to do but switch my account at the bank. Oh, good morning. I'm selling tickets to the... <laughs> Good morning. I just dropped by to invite you to the open air luncheon. It's a charity. My husband gives at the office. <laughs> uh, this is Steve Baxter. I'd like to speak to Mr. Purcell, please. Conference. Oh, I see. Well, uh, no, thank you. No message. I'll, uh, I'll call him later. Thank you. Good morning. Oh! <laughs> They're 65 cents a box or two for a dollar. Oh, well, all right, honey. I'll take two. You won't have much luck in there. Everybody buys cookies. are they? Oh, they ain't for sale. I'm giving them away. There's uh, just two in your family? Yes, but we're expecting company for dinner. Uh, could I have eight? Oh, well, I ain't supposed to give away more than a half a dozen with every pair of tickets. Uh, <laughs> you know, the luncheon alone is, is worth the money, even if it wasn't for charity and tax deductible. <laughs> um, well, all right, eight then. But don't tell any of your neighbors. That'll be uh, five dollars. Five dollars. Oh, I'll take your check. Maybe this will be your lucky day. Maybe you'll win the mink stole Robin's Furriers is raffling off. And you can always tell your husband it's tax deductible. <laughs> oh, uh, good morning. Um, is your wife home? I haven't got a wife. And whatever you're selling, I don't want any. Well, I'm sorry to have bothered you. Have a free sample anyway. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as free. That is. Well, nice to have met you. Hey, wait a minute. How much are these? I'm giving away a half a dozen brownies with each pair of tickets to the open hand luncheon. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, now, wait a minute, can't you? Why can't I buy a couple of those tickets? Oh, you wouldn't want to pay $2.50 a ticket, even if it is for charity and tax deductible. <laughs> Who says I wouldn't? Good afternoon, Mr. Baxter. Uh, can I help you? Yes, uh, I'd like to speak with Mr. Purcell, please. Well, I'm, I'm afraid he's tied up right now. Oh, that's all right. I can spare a minute. Come in, Steve. What can I do for you? Well, I hadn't heard from you, and I was wondering if maybe those papers might be ready for me to sign. Papers? Yeah, yeah that, that the loan we talked about. Oh, that. Uh, I'm afraid the forms haven't cleared yet, Steve, but I'll get in touch with you. Oh, sure. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, no hurry. Nice to see you. 
drop in any time, any time at all. <laughs> Darling? What are you doing home at this time of day? Oh, I told Millie to call if, uh, by some miracle, anybody walked into the office. Well, I've never seen you like this before. What happened? Nothing, nothing. That's the trouble. Nobody in the office has made a deal all week. Not even Bill Fox. And I've, I've got a terrible feeling that loan isn't going through. Barbara, do I really take after poor old cousin Charlie? Oh, cousin. Now look here, Steve Baxter. We've lived through worse times than these. Suppose things are a little slow. You can't make money every day in the real estate business. And, well, what if the loan doesn't go through? It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it might be the end of me. Well, if we need a little cash, we'll borrow from your life insurance, or we'll sell some of the properties that we're buying, or, or the house. You love this house, honey. Well, of course I do. But not one smidgen as much as I love you. Hmm. You do? Poor old cousin Charlie, indeed. Why, did he ever have a house like this to sell, or investments all over town? Suppose they aren't paid for. They're worth a lot more than what we're paying on them. You know the big difference between me and Cousin Charlie? No. He didn't have a wife. Where are you going? Oh, out to make a million bucks before dinner. <laughs> All right, maybe you don't want the Comstock building, Mr. Denny, but that's the price I'm going to get for it. Now, if you don't want it, just say so, and I'll go elsewhere. That's right, 167000 No, I can't give you an option. Look, either we make a deal this afternoon, or I just go elsewhere. I got the same name as your wife. I met her this afternoon at the Baxters. The Steve Baxters? Yes, I'm their maid. Is that so? You work for them full time? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and Mr. Baxter's been after me to switch my account to your bank. <laughs> I'll be glad to take care of it, Miss Burke. You know, ordinarily, I wouldn't think of putting money in a bank without investigating it. But if Mr. Baxter says it's OK, that's all right with me. Is that the brownie? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, come on. I only got one left anyway. They're my specialty. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I'll eat it later. <laughs> well, you know, Mrs. Baxter bought a book of tickets from Mrs. Purcell this afternoon. A whole book? Oh, yeah, well, $50 worth. And, and, and while I'm here, I just thought maybe you could tell Mrs. Purcell we'd like another book. Another one? <laughs> well, it's for a worthy cause. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Would you excuse me a moment, Miss Burke? Okay, but make it snappy. I promised Mrs. Baxter I'd do the marketing today, even if it is my day off. <laughs> I guess my hunch was wrong. If the Baxters can afford a full-time maid and a hundred dollars for charity, his business must be booming. <laughs> I'm so glad you're home. Here, we'll help you put these things away. We're going out for a Chinese dinner. Oh, that ain't on the budget. Hang the budget. Hazel, this was the craziest day I ever had in my life. You wouldn't believe it. Well, there's no use going on a budget if you don't stick to it. There hadn't been a deal made in my office all week. I was ready to cut my throat. Well, he didn't, not my Steve. You know what he did? He went out and sold an office building this afternoon. For uh, $167,000. Do you know what the commission on that is? We're getting a second car. Well, that ain't on the budget. Oh, hang a budget. I made more money in three hours this afternoon than I made in the past three months. Oh, boy, I guess this does call for a celebration. All right. <laughs> Back to residence. Hazel, this is Mr. Purcell from the bank. Oh, hi, Mr. Purcell. How'd you like the brownie? <laughs> brownie? Well, if you thought that was good, you ought to taste my chocolate mint cake. <laughs> I got an idea. Say, why don't I have the Baxters ask you over dinner some night next week, and I'll bake you one. Oh, but you tend to one that woman had something to do with his turning down my loan. Well, how could she? And besides, you don't know the loan's been turned down. 
Steve, don't go flying off the handle until you know. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, Mr. Steve, Mr. Purcell wants to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Purcell. How are you? Yes, well, I was wondering if... Uh... Hazel, you didn't try and pawn off any of those tickets on Mr. Purcell, did you? Oh, I should say not. Not with his own wife selling them. Well, then how did he get the brownie? Hurry up and tell me before... He... Well, it's a long story, you see. <laughs> that, uh, that loan went through okay. Oh, good. Well, what do you need a loan for if you just made this deal? Well, it takes, a, it takes a while for a deal to go through escrow. I can use the cash. And besides, the more I borrow now and pay back, the easier it is to get credit when I need it. Oh, I see. In your business, it's not what you are, but what you owe, huh? Hey, so why don't you hurry up and get ready? Let's go. OK. You see, I told you Hazel couldn't have anything to do with that. I don't know what I was thinking of. How could anything Hazel say or do possibly affect my credit rating? <laughs> 